Hello everyone, I'm Freaky and welcome to the video. My friends, do you like horror movies? Do you like being scared? Do you like horror icons like Jason and Michael Myers and Freddy and Chucky? Or do you like obscure movies like Die Dearest? Or something along those lines? Or do you like horror movies like The Blair Witch? Or Paranormal Activity? Or Wreck? Now, when it comes to these three, these three movies are part of the shaky cam movies. Like, oh, somebody was recording everything that was happening while they were running away from a monster or something along those lines. Like, they have this realism to them. Or, do you like Asian horror films? Because I certainly do. I like the old J and K horrors. They were all fantastic. But yeah, I'll get straight to the point. I do like horror films, specifically old-fashioned films. They feel more scary to me. But there's one movie that goes unappreciated, and not a lot of people know about these days. And of course, I'm talking about the movie Ghost Watch. Now, when it comes to Ghost Watch, it's basically about a film crew who goes into this supposedly haunted house, and the film crew is trying to see if they can find this ghost. And they go all over the place, asking people about the history of the location around this house. And that's basically it. Now, when I phrase it like that, you're probably thinking, hold on, how is this scary? Is this like the Blair Witch? Well, the thing is, this was actually the first movie that actually tried anything like this. It is similar to the Blair Witch Project. And also, all this was live on TV back in the day. And they had this phone number that you could call in at any time and you can talk about the location of the house or you could say oh I think I saw the ghost somewhere around this area because there was some cameras around the house and people could call in saying that oh I think I saw this in this movie they tried to make it as real as possible and believe it or not this movie actually scared a whole nation when it first came out because again they tried to make it as real as possible there was actually 30,000 people who complained into the BBC saying something like oh this was scary this scared my kids is everybody all right? And after this movie came out, there was a lot of controversy. There was kids with PTSD. There was kids who refused to go to sleep. There was an army veteran that sold his pants because of how scary it was. And there was also a tragedy with a kid with autism or Asperger's who killed himself. And he says in a letter, if there are ghosts, I will always be with you as a ghost. And this was a letter to his parents. And later on, loads of people were saying, oh, no, no, it wasn't real. There was the presenters. There was the creators. They all had to come out and say that it wasn't real. Again, this movie scared an old nation and those people who thought it was real. And today, you can still watch this movie if you want to. And yes, it is a movie, or aka a mockumentary. And me telling you guys what's happening in this movie wouldn't give it any justice. But I promise you guys this, it is one of the most scariest movies you'll ever see. And I would like you guys to go and check it out, even if you like scary movies or not. And if you're one of those people who go, you know what, I'll go and watch it, just to see what all the fuss is about. And to all you guys who's going to go and watch, go watch, there are some rules that you need to follow if you guys want to have a good experience while watching this movie. And the only reason I'm bringing up these rules is so that you guys can enjoy your first experience with this movie. But that's not saying that you have to follow these rules. I'm giving you guys the option of following these rules so you guys can be more immersed into the story. Because remember, this came out in 1992 and it was also life. And unless you had a VCR, you wouldn't be able to rewind to see what happened in some sections of the movie. And also, this movie was also based on trust as well. Because remember, back in the 90s, people were more gullible and more trusting when it came to its presenters. Because few of the presenters that was in this movie was also trusted by the public, like Parky. Because that was basically what happened. They made it too realistic. They brought in presenters that was trusting. And this movie was one of the first of its kind. But from 1992 to now, we can rewind the movie. Nobody trusts presenters anymore. And nobody really trusts the media. So, in my opinion, I think, without the element of trust within this movie, I think the scare factor wouldn't be as good like it was back then. And that's why I'm going to be giving you guys these rules to follow while watching this movie. Again, you don't have to follow these rules, but these rules are here to immerse you in the movie. So, if you guys are interested and want to watch this movie and want to feel the way people felt back in 1992, then I'll tell you the rules. And guys, trust me, you guys won't regret following these rules. Okay, here we go. Rule number one, not under any circumstances, no matter what, you are not allowed to stop, pause, or rewind the movie. Because you guys need to remember, this movie came out in 1992, and it was life. And back then, we didn't have any internet, we didn't have any smartphones, we didn't have TiVo, we didn't have any Sky Plus, you know, cable, where you can make TV go forward or backwards. If it's been pre-recorded, then you could do that. And again, we didn't have any internet or smartphones to check what other people were saying about this movie while it was live on TV. So let's just say for example that you desperately wanted to go to the toilet or you missed something that they said or couldn't understand what they said in that one moment or maybe you really have to go and check something out like maybe the dog's out or maybe something else has happened and you really need to go and check it out. 
you have to keep the movie going regardless if you need to go to the tort or you need to check something or anything like that and it doesn't matter if you missed something or you couldn't understand what people were saying or if you think you spotted something you wish you can go back and watch it or if you were to check the tv really quick on the other channel and then come back the movie has to keep running no matter what because again this movie was played live i mean if you had a vcr which not a lot of people at the time you could record it and then when the movie's done you could go back and watch it again but you need to do record it all the way through from beginning to end otherwise if you was to stop the movie and then go back to the place on the vcr that you thought you saw something you would miss recording the rest of the movie so basically what i'm trying to say is not under any circumstances are you allowed to pause the movie or rewind the movie or stop the movie and then carry on watching it later on because remember we're going into this movie with the illusion that it's live because this is how the original ghost watch was shown on tv but saying that there was nothing you could do to pause rewind or stop and then watch it later it's one of the simple rules so to keep the illusion going you must not pause rewind or stop the movie and watch it at some other time okay now let's move on to rule two and rule number two is no looking on your phone or checking on the internet about the movie during the time you're watching it because again in 1992 there was no smartphones so to keep the illusion going either turn your phone off or put it on the other side of the room so you won't be tempted to use it and look up what this movie is all about remember there was no smartphones back in those days nor was there any internet so you have to concentrate on the movie so yeah that's basically all i've got to say no looking on your phone and no checking on your phone or checking the internet during your time when you're watching this movie again we're going to go into this movie with the illusion that it's 1992 okay now that said let's move on to rule three and rule three is make sure you watch this movie at night preferably in the fall or exactly on halloween at 9 25 pm but if you're in a continent or it's light around that time please wait until it gets dark and it's preferable that you don't watch it totally in the dark i mean if you want to that's fine but i think having a lamp on while watching the movie will give it that atmosphere like oh there's a little bit of light over there but everywhere else is dark just to give it that scary feeling but if you want to go for the full authenticity it is preferable if you were to watch ghost watch on halloween at night when it's dark and the reason why i said you should watch it at 9 25 pm is because that's the time when ghost watch came on tv the first time 30 years ago and in the uk it is dark around that time and ghost watch did come on on halloween night so it is the ideal time to watch ghost watch on halloween night but considering halloween is a once a year sort of thing the next best thing is to just watch it in the dark at night with a little bit of light showing and even if halloween comes around again that will give you the perfect chance to watch ghost watch so yeah there you go that's rule number three let's move on to rule number four and rule number four is you have to go into this movie with the mindset of 1992 and believe it's all life think of a time when everything was very, very simple and everybody trusts everybody and you have to remember that something like ghost watch has never been tempted before this was before paranormal activity before the blair witch project you have to go in believing that all these people are real and not paid actors and you have to believe the phone number that they show you on the screen is real you have to pretend that this movie is real again this is 1992 again there was no blair witch there was no paranormal activity there was no internet and nothing like ghost watch as have been done before and again it's all life and something like ghost watch was the first of its kind so remember go into this movie with the mindset that it's real okay now that's rule number four let's move on to rule number five now rule number five is is that you have to trust the cast because when it came to ghost watch there are quite a few characters within this movie that the audience back in the day used to trust like parky he was a presenter on, on a few shows. And if you were to look at the cast, some of them you might recognise. And also, people back in the day used to put their trust in the BBC, believe it or not. And after this movie, loads of people were angry at the BBC because of this little stunt. So basically, you have to go into this movie putting your trust in all these characters. And I mean all of them. And even if you used to know these characters from other series or whatnot, you have to put your absolute trust within these characters. Because again, back then, people were very gullible and trusting back in the day. And again, some of the people within this movie was well known by the public. So yeah, there you go. You have to trust these people. So that's rule number five. Let's move on to rule number six. And rule number six is, after when you've watched this movie, and it's the next day, you have to look up the controversy that revolved around this movie. And there was lots of controversy when this movie was shown from when people watched it to weeks later children with psd some kid that killed himself 
a war veteran soiling his pants. There was just so much controversy. It was talked about on chat shows. It was in the papers. There was loads and loads of controversy. And, fun fact, would you believe that Ghostwatch had roughly around 30,000 complaints? I think it was the most complained about program ever. I mean, the aftermath was huge. And people were angry at the BBC for abusing their trust towards its audience. And there's loads of stories like this with the controversy of this movie. So, when it comes to the next day, you have to look up the controversy that surrounds this movie. Not only would it be a learning experience, but it would kind of sort of be like a sort of next day at school or work when everybody was saying, hey, did you see Ghostwatch last night? I can't believe how real that was. You know, basically it would be like, you know, talk of the town. And that's why you guys should go and check out the controversy on the internet. But it has to be the next day, not right after when you've watched the movie. Because again, it was 1992, there was no internet, and the banter and the chatting about Ghostwatch would be talked about the next day. Again, there are loads of stories on Ghostwatch. So when it comes to the next day, please go and check them out. So that's rule number six. Let's move on to rule number seven. And this one will be easy. Look up on YouTube about Ghostwatch. And there are loads of videos on Ghostwatch on YouTube. Um, there's Inside a Mind, the BBC's most controversial TV show. And there's 70s TV, 80s TV, and 90s TV, The Foot of Our Stairs, Ghostwatch, BBC Halloween 1992. This one is roughly around 41 minutes. And there's another one called The Band, BBC Ghost Film, that terrified a country. There are loads of videos on Ghostwatch on YouTube. And what these YouTubers say about Ghostwatch is very, very interesting, especially The Foot of Our Stairs. So please, go and check them out. This rule is basically telling you guys to go and check out what other people are saying. And the reason why I have this rule is because it'll give you guys more perspective on what other people have said about this movie and you'll be able to learn something new as well. And that's basically it. And if you guys can find more videos on Ghostwatch, then please go and check them out as well. And yeah, that's basically it. Those are all the rules of how to watch Ghostwatch. And again, you guys don't have to follow these rules in order to enjoy the film. The reason why I made these rules is so it would be more realistic and you guys will be more immersed into the movie. So yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, you guys can watch the movie however you want. But if you do want to follow these rules, then go for it. It's all up to you guys. So what do you guys think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Are there other rules that you want to add? Or are you just going to ignore the rules and just watch it the way you want to watch it? Please let me know in the comments section below and let's get a discussion going. I'm Freaky. Peace out. And please don't forget to check out my other social medias. Please go and check out my alternative video platforms. Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, Twitch. And please come and hang out on my Discord server. We can play games, have a movie night or a series night, or you can watch me play a few games. And if you guys have any suggestions of any videos you want me to react to, or any video ideas in general, you can tell me on my Discord. I'm also on Twitter, Gab, Getter, and Parla. I'm on Locals, Tumblr, Minds, and if you guys want to support me, please go and check out my subscribe star. It's like Patreon, but better. All these things are in the description box below, so please go and check them out and subscribe to them. I'm Geek Freak, peace out. Mm -hmm.